Pardon me. I'm looking for the Scarlet Cockerel. It's, um... You can't miss it. It's the building with the red rooster over the door. Seth, you found the secret passage. I'm proud of you. Come and sit down. Where's Milchant? He'll be along. Come and have a seat. I met your man in the alley. Oh, Servage. How is he? I think he's allergic to flowers. Hmm. I think you should come and take a seat. Do people always welcome your friends with a knife? Just taking precautions. Come and take a seat. We talked it over. And we don't like you. Yes, I'm afraid I may have given you the wrong impression. You mean you're not the Queen's most fervent admirers? Oh, she'd have been perfect a few hundred years ago. But the world's changing, Seth. Some of the barbarians live in cities now. They have governments and armies. They're building fleets of ships. And all we do is watch. What's that got to do with Rhea? Everything. The strong conquer the weak. And Atlantis is weak. One day the primitives will find us. And then... What do you want with me? <laughs> Simple. Just sit back while I cut your throat. How did you know I was in the drinking house? I was watching Meljance, and you came along and dropped that flower pot on Servage's head. I thought you might need some help getting away. 
Those people are dangerous, Agatha. They're convinced Atlantis is under threat from barbarians. The old story. Rhea refused to believe the priests of Sa'at were still plotting. For a hundred years, they've dreamed of destroying all signs of organized civilization everywhere except on Atlantis. The future terrifies them. But Sa'at is no god of destruction. The priests want power. They want Sa'at to be a god of power. They want a reason to build armies. They want to rule, Seth. And Creon's helping them? He's been the Queen's consort for six years. Next year, he faces the challenge. If he's with the priests, then this is a good time to strike. If Creon ordered Rhea's disappearance, what has he done with her? Why didn't he just kill her with the companions? I don't know if he ordered the attack. But supposing he did, we need to find out what his plans are. And we have to find the Queen. Once she's back on the throne, the priests won't dare to try anything. How do we find out what's going on? Most of the companions are dead, and the rest seem to be traitors. There aren't a lot of people we can trust. I'll contact a few friends. You'll have to spy on Creon. Spy on Creon? I'll need to get back into the palace first. I'll see you later. In the palace orchard, under the library window. The gate is near here, but it may be locked. Until that companion, what's his name? Seth? Until he comes through this door, or until someone else gets in. allow it. I'm a queen's companion. Seth, we know you, Silken and me, supposed to be dead. You know who wants me dead? Silken and me know lots of things, but we don't like to tell. Silken, that is. Cleverest catches might you ever see, brings them squeaking to me. Squeaks them all right, but he never kills them. Never. She's somewhere. Not here, though. Or Silken, no. I want to spy on Creon. To find out where the Queen is. I know where Creon is. Tell me. I might do. Silken likes you. Play a game. What kind of a game? Doesn't hurt. Wanna play, do you? Easy game. Queen's lost somewhere, see? You're the hero, Seth. You have to find her. I'm the ogre. 
I come after you. Whoever finds the queen wins. And I can also win by catching you. When it's your turn, you can move one or two squares in any direction. I only move one. You start, Seth. You start. Very good. Want to spy on Creon, that's it? Do you know where he is? Silken knows, don't you, Silken? <coughs> take him? No. Don't move, or Silken won't take you. Now, here's a game. Up above is the sea, where the whale swims. You want to be inside its belly, of course. Yes, very good. But first, there's a thing to find. Let's call it a pearl, which it isn't. The Northern Pearl. No, the Pearl of the North. Ready, are you? Silken? <laughs> <laughs> 